so much shit. Demon just got out of can. I gave my bro an event. Right, so welcome back to the channel. I'm down here filming these two cars today. Uh, I've got Lewis and Luke over here. Uh, you've got the Megane RS and you've got the Focus ST. We're going to do some like runs um, down like a dual carriageway and on, well, actually no, we're going to Mexico. We're going to Mexico, not fucking dual carriageway. We'll, yeah, we'll go for a little blip, see what these cars are like. They're both running um, the same software. Well, not same software, but they've both been tuned by the same company. And Luke's just, Luke's had his on dyno and um, it's running about 300 brake horsepower, I think. And Luke, uh, Lewis has run about 300 brake horsepower as well. The only difference being is that Lewis's is a mobile map than Luke's um, dyno map. So it'd be interesting to see the results. Obviously they both weigh different and they're both completely a different brand. So it'd be good to see the comparison in um, with them being both the same brake horsepower and stuff like that. So I'll probably get them to talk about the cars. Like, well, I'll, I'll let you know about the modifications and that on the cars and then we'll just go into like a little bit of a, a little bit of a race in a bit. <laughs> well, so the race might be a bit unfair next. Like, Lewis, um, Lewis has got a bit of fucked tyres or a bit low at the minute. Uh, also, you've got a tangerine screen, got black wheels. I think, what exhaust system you got? Uh, Scorpion. Scorpion decat. They're both running decat, actually. Yeah. Scorpion decat. And then it's got an upright front mount or not? No. No, no upright front mount. Uh, I think everything's pretty much standard. Oh, you've got an induction kit as well. What induction kit you got? KNN. KNN. So you've got the exhaust induction kit and, it's, and a remap and it's running about 300 brake horsepower. So you don't even have to get that mad of it to get a decent amount of power out of it. And then we move on to Luke's Megane RS. Same sort of setup again. We've got your black wheels. Uh, got nice black mirror caps here. So it stands out really nice. Um, it's like a, what do you say it was called, Luke? The yellow? It's not, it's not the liquid yellow. What was it? Sport yellow. Sport yellow, yeah. It's not the liquid yellow. For any of them, you start kicking off in the fucking comments. Uh, Luke's got a decal as well. But he hasn't gone for like a full system. He's just like kept the system standard, but he just took out some of the silencers, didn't he? Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah. But it does sound nice. We'll give you a few exhaust clips in a minute. The things I like with these, got the upgraded Brembo, oh, they come with Brembo calipers on. It's four pots, isn't it? Uh, I reckon two. Two pot. I reckon two. No, they definitely are four. Better? Yeah, I think they're four pots. Yeah, they're four pots. Yeah, they've got four pot Brembos. Um, got his number plate, which is sick. They're the exclusive registration ones, aren't they? Uh, is that yeah, yeah, exclusive, exclusive registrations yeah. plate? So he's gonna love that when he sees this in the video. Team Echo wind deflectors. I think everyone's got them. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've got that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much the cars. It'd be good to see what they're like when they're racing against each other. We'll get a few exhaust clips now, and then um, we can crack on with the race. Gonna move them around a bit fully, so we get some good exhaust clips. Now I did say I was gonna do some cinematics, but I don't think there's any point because we just want to get on and show you what, like, what these are like compared uh, against each other, like racing and stuff like that. So I'll give you next door some exhaust clips now. They both sound real nice, so it should be really good. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, go on then. Around a bit. But it's fucking pigeon feathers on the floor. Yeah, pigeon feathers all over me. Need to fuel up in a minute. <laughs> Quality, yeah? yeah, right. Yeah, I'm going to have a little listen to this. Like the time I'm going to down on it. It's Yeah, 
mine's white for fuel. Mine's Silly white. Silly boy. He's gonna fucking beat me, Lou. Right, so I'm out in uh, I'm out of Lou's ST at the minute now, so we're gonna get some clips of this. We're gonna have to get Luke in the outside lane. Go for like a third gear board. Right, there's Luke. What's he doing? Oh, I'll wait for him to. <laughs> What are you doing? Like a straight off pull here? What are you doing? Like a second gear pull or what? Yeah, go second, go second. Lewis's and Luke's um, McGann RS and Focus ST. Pretty close to be fair. Like the first time Lou had him, second time Luke completely fucked it, Lou. So it was really close. I mean, I think what I might do is continue this video on until um, until this weekend because we've got Pair and Dragon Drift this weekend that I really want to go to. And I know Luke and Lewis are basically drag racing their cars there. So I'm going to keep this video rolling and not end it off here. And then once we get the Dragon Drift, um, on the weekend it'd be good to get a clip of that and then i'll probably end off the video after that i will do the pairing um i will do the pair and dragon drift in a different video because i don't want to put that all into this video because it'd be point completely pointless because it's a completely different day um of filming everything that's going on there so yeah next time you see me guys it'll be filming them two racing on a drag strip down at pair and port drag field so that'd be good stay tuned for that there we go So that is the Megane RS250 against the Focus ST. Now they are both modified, both run around the same sort of brake horsepower mark, which is around the 300 brake horsepower mark. Maybe Luke's got about 310, I think. But as you can tell, they're both evenly really matched uh, cars. They're both well-built cars. And for a Renault, you know, I'm really actually impressed with that Renault Megane RS250. Now, I'm not a big fan of French cars at all, as most of you know on this channel. But um, it was really interesting to see the Focus ST against the Megane, like I said. Now, what I think... Uh, because obviously I've, I know about Fords, I know about a lot of Fords, and I've been in the Focus STs a lot and stuff like that. But um, Luke's, and I mean Lewis's Focus ST, really nice, sounds amazing, decat on it, goes really well. Um, and then you get in Luke's McGann RS 250, and it's a bit different. You know, the Focus is, you feel like you're in more of like a civilised, you know, like car, like safer sort of thing like that. But you get in the McGann RS 250 and you can just tell it's like ready for track. It wants to go on track. It's just it's just such a handful. And it feels so much lighter when you're in the car as well. And I'm not sure if they've got an LSD on them. I don't know, 100% off my top of my head. I haven't looked that up. But um, they handle so well and they sound insane. Like the turbo flutter. You guys heard the turbo flutter on that. Oh my God, in the video, it was like in person, it just sounds 10 times better. And they pop and bang really nicely as well. And it just feels so responsive. Now, um, it's kind of like you know I'm not I'm not a big fan of French cars like I've already said but this RS this RS 250 really did surprise me. Now it would be really interesting to see what they're like if they can go up to about 400 brake horsepower plus and stuff like that. But that's it for now, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you're new. As always, um, hit the bell button to be notified every single time I upload as well. Check out the LB Apparel merch. I will be wearing a T-shirt um, in one of a few in the next well in one of the next couple of videos I think. Uh, I have worn it before, so try and point it out where I've been wearing the LB Apparel merch t-shirt. But for now, guys, I'll see you on the next video. If you want to see more reviews like this, comment down below and let me know. And I, uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.